Symbiosis is something that's really unique among the animals and plants. The term is sometimes used in the more restricted sense of a mutually beneficial interaction in which both symbionts contribute to each other's support. But first, before talk about symbiosis, let's check out our group member first. We have our group leader, Rafik Haspala, who contribute a lot of things in making this video. Next, we have our fellow artist, which is Darwish, that have drawn a lot of things that will be show later in this video. Then we have Akil Azarizan who gave us a lot of ideas about symbiosis. After that our other group members are Zikri, Iyad and Imran who also support us in making this video. And finally our mentor, teacher Emilia, the one who give us the main topic for this video and help us a lot. So in this video I'm going to explain about symbiosis, but it will be different from other symbiosis video because I'm gonna explain it using symbols. Back to our main topic. What is symbiosis? Symbiosis is basically an interaction between two different organisms living in close physical association, typically to the advantage of both. Okay, what's the relation between symbiosis and symbols? These symbols are used to represent the type of symbiosis. For example, this plus symbol represents benefits gained from the interaction, while the minus symbol means harm and the other symbol means that somebody is going to get nothing from the interaction done. Let's learn about symbiosis even further. There are three types of symbiosis in this video. First, we have mutualism. As you hear, mutual from mutualism is something that is interrelated with the symbiosis which will be explained later. Then, there is commensalism. And finally, parasitism which really close to parasite in term of its word and pronounce. Let's start off with mutualism. A mutualism is a symbiotic relationship where all species gain benefit from their interactions. This type of symbiosis is basically a one-to-one -one relation where all the interactors gain benefits from the interaction. And so for this type of symbiosis we need to use the plus and plus symbol cause all the interactors gain benefits from the mutualism. Uh, make sure to remember okay, plus and plus is mutualism. This is an example of mutualism clownfish and sea anemone. They are interacting with each other and giving each other benefits. The anemone provides the clownfish with protection and shelter, while the clownfish provides the anemone nutrients in the form of waste while also scaring. After that, commensalism. Commensalism is relationship between individuals of two species in which one species obtains food or other benefits from the other without either harming or benefiting the latter. Basically, it's a plus and nothing symbol. Example of commensalism is shark and remora fish. Remora fish will follow the shark in order to get waste food from the shark. The shark will gain nothing from this interaction though. And finally, we have parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship where one organism gain benefits while the other's getting harm. It's got the plus and minus symbol. One get benefit and the other getting harm. Pretty easy, right? As usual, these are some examples of parasitism. We have cat and tick here, and the same with dog. Another example of parasitism is the tapeworm in our intestine. A tapeworm is a parasite that can live and feed in human intestines. Uh, this is called a tapeworm infection. A young and inactive form of the tapeworm is called a larval cyst. It can stay alive in other parts of the body. It can also make our stomach hurt, so make sure to take care of yourself. Now let's check out our original hand drawing animation.
So that's it for the video. We are pretty much done here. In order to test your understanding, you guys are gonna answer some of these quiz. These quiz is made special for you. Yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. Last but not least, let's do some recap on what we had learned from this video. We have three types of symbiosis, commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. Pretty easy, right? For commensalism, just remember the nothing and plus symbol. As for the mutualism, we got the plus and plus. And finally, don't forget the plus and minus symbol for the parasitism. So that's it for the video. Is this the end? Hmm. We will definitely meet again on our next video. See you guys again.